forward to the new formulas of the White Brotherhood by Elazar Harash, 1993, translated by Rua Ezekiel, narrated by Danny King. Every formula attracts its reasonable goal. A formula contains within itself the superb word, i.e., it is God in action. Remember, the word is the strongest barrier against evil spirits. The word has a fiery nature. You, who doubt the word, are distancing yourself from me. You cannot know me. Doubt is a fallen world. Doubt erodes you, but you are free, because you love freedom. Every pure word develops this fiery energy, i.e. the primary energy. The true state of being is a mighty fire. The true word is fire. God will reveal this to you through the formula. God, reveal to me the superb word. In this book, I do not have the idea to present the special formulas of the White Brotherhood. The special formulas I conceal from this world, they will remain within the depth of the fire. These formulas are connected to the supreme secrets of fire, and you would be amazed, because you would understand sacred secrets of God, but they remain in the depth. I have said Om. The sacred remains locked. Outside of the fire, life is poor. Outside of the sacred, life is pitiful. Blessed are all those who strive for the sacred, towards Ein Sof. When I guard a being whom I love, I am guarding myself, because this being is not something external. It is a special feeling of mine. In this way, I am preserving God within myself. In this way, I am guarding the sacred within myself, for we cannot love that which is outside of us. What we love is God, who is deep inside of us, and that exactly is this special feeling. When I have a special feeling towards someone, this special feeling is being born within me from God. God has a special feeling towards a certain person, and I must have a sacred attitude towards this feeling, because it is a sacred wish of God. When I love someone, I am learning to have a sacred attitude towards God. Only where there are sacred relations can God develop. In this way, I am building up God within myself. I say, the sacred attitude is a great symbol and simultaneously a great method. When the people come to know this deep love and wisdom of the word, then will cosmic Christianity come, because Christ is found within the inner life of the word. The most supreme degrees of love, wisdom and truth come from the new understanding of the word. A deepening immersion into the word is to enter into the spirit, because the spirit is concealed in the depth of things. The word is the primary power of the spirit. Only through the word can we be born again into the spirit. The supreme degree of the word is the essence of the spirit itself. This is the spirit word. This is the fulfillment of things. 
formulas are supreme practice. They lead to knowledge of the essence, to knowledge of the sacred secrets of life. This is the way of the occult science. The representative of the divine world is the spirit. The representatives of the spiritual world are the angels. I say, the representative of the divine world is the supreme reasonable energy. The sacred secrets of the occult science have been zealously guarded by the Egyptian priests. The special formulas are being guarded now. Two, they are protected with the fiery principle. I have no intention of revealing these keys. I only have the right to prepare the path towards the secret. But everyone must enter into it themselves. If they endure the three deadly sufferings, the occult science works within the depths, and religion works on the surface. Only the occult science reaches the deep, inner secrets of Christianity. Remember, the occult science of the White Brotherhood is sealed with ten seals. Here the supreme sacred knowledge is found, one which originates from the principle. The principle determines the mightiest influence. This is in regard to the mightiness of the diamond will. Only the diamond will understands the symbols, the language of the heavens. The deepest occult writings are written symbolically and conditionally, and within the word conditionally is concealed unconditionality, I say. Symbols are accessible only to the initiates. They are the keys of the initiates. They are the keys of spirit. One such great key is the pentagram, of which the Master spoke. The pentagram is a universal method and synthetical key for the connection with God. The key of the pentagram can only be turned through the development of five rays, which are love, wisdom, truth, justice, and virtue. And whoever has these qualities has the key. All of this means an exceptional development. This is the primary task of the disciples in the occult school of the White Brotherhood. I say, the development of the willpower is gradual. Great is the system of graduality. This is the system of the gradual testing of the qualities. Purity and strength of the will can be developed so much that they can affect nature and something more. Remember, anyone who wants to concern themselves with the secrets of nature must purify and strengthen their will. At a very high level, the almighty influence is always an exceptional internal development of the will. The will acts as an almighty being. I have spoken to you much on the matters of willpower. Through the spirit, the thought becomes exceptionally dynamic and all-achieving. But the deep secrets on this matter belong to the most supreme and sacred domain, which I can only touch. Remember, formulas live as reasonably established creations. They are active and sensible creations of the spirit and the sensible always requires reasonableness. So first you must go through purity. The secret of these things that are being disclosed is known by those who have passed through the initiation of the pentagram. 
I say, the questions of life are solved with the mighty fiery word. This regards the great teaching of the Master, Peter Dunov, Binsa Duno. Formulas according to the Master are special emanations of energy. I say, formulas are a pure, radiant, spiritual energy which originates from the principle of purity and purity is the inexhaustible source of energy because purity is abundant in qualities i.e. in refined powers and elements. I say, purity determines the birthing of virtues only the refined powers work dynamically and mightily. This is the secret of the wellspring. Remember, the supreme heavenly energy is extracted and transformed from the lower energy, i.e., the fruit comes out of the ground. In this way, the adept makes a shining solar center of themselves. I say, Virtues shine and create wonderful divine relations, even for future centuries, and this is beauty. It has nothing to do with sermons of the church. That which is preaching within the person are qualities and virtues. Do you know of their fragrance? I say, purity is a secret and mighty key of the adept of the initiate. In this way, the pure one achieves all of their goals because the spirit is with them. And why is the spirit with them? Because the pure one has only reasonable wants. The pure one achieves their goals because the spirit within them is strong and can materialize its wants and ideas. We know that the churches still have a negative attitude towards the Master Peter Dunov. But this regards the deep incomprehension. Their future is our present. We will be in unity sooner or later. This will only happen after the purification, when we will know each other as brothers and sisters, having only one God, one Father of all living things. Now, through the great teaching, a new race is being born. The fire of love is the weapon of the new race. The fire is our secret might. The Master has taught us how to understand the true teaching of Christ. Our methods are your future. We love you, because in our teaching hate does not exist. It is impossible. I say, the great time of the disciple is coming, because secretly within them the new human is being born, and this is Christ. We are in mutual understanding with all pure beings, or with all those who honestly strive for purification. Our teaching I am speaking on behalf of the inner circle of the White Brotherhood, will be brought to bear in this world because its foundation is pure love. The disciple is not a medium or a fanatic. The disciple is conscious. They know the laws and principles of the word. A medium is not an initiate. When they act, they know nothing, because there is something above prayer and faith, and that is love. The disciple has true wisdom, and nature is only their ally. Weaker disciples have strong will, and the advanced ones who help them have diamond will. This will rules over everything. It governs the elements, the aggregore of society also the astral plane. There are acts of the formulas through which you enter into a supreme world, 
and regarding the pure energy of the disciple, it is a sum of the different types of virtues, and virtues are living powers in nature, living currents. There are people who have the knowledge of magicians, but do not have the penetration, do not have energy, because the spirit is not with them. Penetration and fire are not being created. They are developed only in certain specific conditions of the spirit. Whoever wants to enter deeply into the sacred and pure knowledge must before all else thoroughly study their own character and their tendencies. In the way of purification, the disciple attains the secret of God. The external expression of this secret states that God gave birth to his own self. This is a secret within the secret. In this same way are the initiates born within themselves. The pure one becomes spirit, and the spirit sees in all worlds, the visible and invisible. The pure one attracts power from all things. Meditation with the formulas is significantly important. It is the gradual terminating of evil and the dissipation of its elements. Every formula is a principle. It is a fluidic conductor of the spirit. It is a synthetical method. Symbols are an absolute means of protection. They are heavenly weapons, purely heavenly ideas and the pentagram is a sacred symbol. But here I am not going to explain the laws and principles of the pentagram. This is a matter for a separate book. Every formula conveys itself, its life and its idea. In order to understand the formulas, the disciple must purify themselves and liberate themselves from everything personal. This is precisely why I give such a suitable formula. God, liberate me from everything personal. In it, there is concealed beauty, as with every formula. The disciple must work on themselves a lot in order to relieve themselves of the personal. And after they do, they will be able to penetrate deeply within themselves, where they will see the beauty of life, where they will see the essence, and then they will be amazed. This is in regard to the initiation of the disciple in the center of the pentagram. This is the highest initiation on earth, with which the disciple concludes the human stage of development and enters the new life. Initiation in the third degree of the pentagram is something extraordinary, something unusual, but still, few are the disciples that can transform agony, i.e. deadly suffering, into joy and light. This initiation is a very deep occult matter and it concerns only the inner circle of the White Brotherhood. And regarding the occultists of the outer circle, they only have some notion of this, but in this case, notions do not matter. I am grateful and happy to have such disciples whom I've seen and for whom the Master told me they have been determined. I have been watching their work for a long time. I can only say that it is something extraordinary to know true disciples of the Master, humble, quiet, mighty, consciously working on themselves every day. I would say they are a shining quietness. With them, we will form the core of Bulgaria. With them, we will work in the future as well, because the Master wants mighty disciples who have outgrown the temptations of life. 
who have defeated the snake within themselves completely. Masters of themselves and their destiny, who know the essence of the teaching, whose symbol is the diamond will. There is no time for greetings and external culture, no time for excess questions, no time for slacking and delaying, no time for grannies in occultism. Now is a fiery time, a fire cycle. Now is a time in which the might of the disciples is being forged, and their exceptional humility. Humility is a high peak. The fire group in Varna is working daily, no delaying, no slacking, no pondering, no pleasures, a fiery cycle, mighty fiery practices in the quiet hours. When the world is sleeping, the disciple is working. It is hard to sleep when the disciple has been set on fire by the great and universal teaching of the Master. It is hard to eat because the true food of the disciple is before all else fire. The critics are outside the teaching. Those who disapprove of us also do not matter to us. Mighty work, fiery striving, mighty occult development, exceptional will. To those of the church who cast a group curse on the Master and on me, I will say that we will avenge with a triple blow. We will avenge with love, yes love, and mighty blessings. This is our weapon, not pitiful hate and ignorance, not rags, but love, love as fire, love as a force, Love as God himself. Yes, love. The sacred fire does not have any opponents. Curses are an illusion, and everything which is an illusion is not love. If I had the right to talk to you of the science, of the force, I would talk much. But I am hiding it, because you are not yet ready for such a universal weapon called the sacred fire which is given only after a series of trials, and finally through initiation. Many occultists bear the labels of disciples of the Master. Nothing will remain of those labels. The force cannot be fooled. It is not important what you consider yourself to be. What is important is the verdict of the force, the verdict of the Spirit. The Master has said it, seven times I will make you pass through fire, and this fire is already working. I say, true disciples do not think of initiation, they work and engulfed by love for their work. One marvellous day they simply become worthy of the inner circle. The occult disciple does not think of love, but they burn. Those who think much have many considerations. In the life of the true occult disciple, the Master is held in the highest regard. He comes first, and all other depths are second. All those who put their family, or their profession first, or any other activity, are outside. Let them not imagine that they are disciples, they are listeners. First comes the Master, then is the practice of the teaching, which is one and the same, i.e., first comes the teaching, then there is eating, breathing, sleeping, and other things. Some, while listening to me, might think that I am a fanatic, but this is a lie. Fanaticism belongs to a specific sickness which turns into cruelty, and cruelty is denying love. In the great teaching of the Master, 
There is no place for anything excessive and old. The old is dead. The word is the resolving of all questions. But this is understood by those who know the word to be God. It is beautiful when the word reveals itself to the person. It happens from the inside. And for the one who understands, the word becomes a guide and protector. The word, in its highest degree, is the essence, i.e. the spirit of things itself. I say, when the word is purified, it becomes spirit and is manifested as spirit, as essence. With the pure word, the energy of the formulas is extraordinary. Yes, God lives in the exceptional energy. This exceptional energy is called sacred fire, and precisely this fire is the key to life. Illness, evil, worries cannot stand the rays of the sacred fire. The sacred fire has no adversaries. It is a conquering principle. The mightiest powers are found within the pure word, which is the basis of the sacred fire. When a person is armed with the pure word, which is the essence of the formulas, then around them there is a fiery wall. Into this wall, every intent of evil crashes. Mighty word means a mighty melting. But this is regarding to the word as principle. Such word, i.e. such a weapon, only the sons of God possess. The beings of the kingdom of God, or, said in another way, the kingdom of God, this is the principle of the word. The disciple knows how to go to war using the word, the principle, i.e. the unconditional weapon. This unconditional weapon reigns everywhere. A person must purify themselves so that L can work through their spirit the person is only the doer. In reality, God is working. Everything else is simply a conductor. Remember, the pure word, this is the concentrated power of God, which resolves everything. This is fire. This is the fire of the new teaching. The spirit itself concentrates as fire within the word and works universally. And the pure word determines the fiery unity itself. The deep and occult essence of the formulas is revealed only to those beings who have taken on the path of purification. This is the foundation of all occult teachings. Purification from bad food, ill thoughts, ill feelings, bad deeds, and when a certain degree of control is achieved, then the basic tutoring in occultism begins. Without purity, we cannot be unified with God. When the impure ones praise as God, they stain Him. As a whole, any task that the impure one takes up becomes stained. The Word, this is the conquering power of God, and the formulas are the key itself. I would never have made these things about the formulas wide known, if that was not what the Master wanted. But because he wants it, for me his will is sacred, and precisely because of that this book will be published. Of course, regarding the special formulas, I cannot disclose them, because the responsibility is exceptionally big, and whoever does not endure its demands enters into chaos. Here I make no compromise, because it is impossible. Through the word, the higher world is working. And if we go even deeper, 
the word is the act of God, and at its highest degree it is the supreme secret of God. The supreme secret of the word regards the fiery vibrations of the spirit. This is the concentrated fire. I say, problems exist because there is a material and an astral consciousness. Problems exist because the fire is lacking, and fire is the essence of life. Evil does not oppose the sacred fire, because the sacred fire is God, and this fire is an absolute wall in which evil crashes. I want to say, formulas can create a wall in which evil is destroyed. Formulas which come out of a purified being, work unconditionally. Formulas are living spirit beings, true acting powers. These are divine, penetrating vibrations. I say, the mighty waves of the word are the mighty waves of God. Working with the thought is sowing, and what one has sown they will reap. Those who have sown wind will reap hurricanes. Those who have sown evil will reap misfortune. A person's thoughts tell what their life is going to be because life is expressed through thoughts, through the word. It is said in the Kabbalah, we achieve God as a supreme thought. The supreme thought is his expression. There is an ancient law from Egypt which is universal. It states, sinking into, or more precisely, absorption into the word is absorption into the secrets of being. I say, the word is a great secret. The word is a secret within the secret. When the disciple has purified themselves, the word gives them methods for supreme occult evolution and methods for initiation. Initiation is a great key of life. The initiate becomes the master of life because they merge with the spirit. From here on, true life begins. Everything until this moment has been a preparation for the true life. Initiations have different degrees. They give a new and powerful impulse for spiritual work. When the mind works reinforcedly in the word, this is under the guidance of the spirit, and then the lower spirits fall away. In this way, the mind becomes free, because the spirit is the master of life. When I see that a disciple has a serious attitude towards the word and is working diligently for its purification, then this disciple is something special to me, because it is not the mind but the spirit that works with the word, and the spirit is always close to me, because it is always sacred. I say, the way of the word is the greatest way that I know. The way of the word is the birthing of God from within. God is being born in the word from within, and so the mighty invisible reality becomes close and reveals itself to us. In this reality there are no doubts, i.e., Everything that is outside of reality is doubt, and doubt means destruction. Doubt has no life inside the fire. Here it is lifeless. The most supreme dynamic is found within the pure word, and in occultism it is known that evil is eliminated with dynamics. This is why you need purity, because within it the dynamic is born i.e. the spirit. The mighty fiery current 
of a formula paralyzes all the evil spirits. This is a supreme manifestation of the word God, or the word principle. I had an occasion years ago when I was given very difficult situations and circumstances, when I was working with 1600 formulas a day. This was an exceptional program given to me by the Master, so that I may understand some secrets of the higher world. I have had formulas through which I have visited adepts from other stars. My angel was guarding my body, and the Master was guiding me. On the moon, in a conversation with an exceptional adept, I saw what humility means, as depth and as sacredness. But not only that, many other things that I, for now, conceal. Many are those who doubt, but they do not matter to me. My idea here was to say something about an exceptional formula with which, when I pronounced it in the fiery method, the whole heaven, countless angel hierarchies were ready, and I only saw a part of the beauty and the power of this world, called the Word. This technique is not powerful, it is almighty. I saw God working almightily through the Word. All of this reinforced my humility and my studies of the secrets of occultism and the Kabbalah. The Word and freedom are one. I had a situation when I saw how the mighty Master is working for me, how he reveals himself to me and helps me. The millions of practices with the formulas revealed to me many secrets. My gratitude towards the Master grew, and in one moment then I knew that thanking him is something too minor. So I gave my whole life to him. This is unconditional. This is the best decision, as it came out not of obligation, but of freedom, of love. When on the 6th of February, 1987, I entered Samadhi, I once again saw the loving hand of the Master in my life, which, until that point, was only efforts. Many, many, many efforts, around 50,000 laws, lots of work, sacred work, many trials, sacred trials and regarding the great initiation that the Master gave to me, I cannot tell of it, because the occult laws do not allow it. I can only say, my beloved brothers and sisters, only one thing is asked of you. Efforts, efforts, efforts. And in one marvellous day, he will come. Then even the sun's beauty somehow pales in comparison because it is only a reflection of the Word. It is only a deeper reflection of the God idea, but still a reflection, a radiation of the Word. But the essence is always deeper than the reflection. The millions of efforts were rewarded. They still continue. Now, in the silent nights, in the silent revelations, in the new revelations of the Master. I remember the wave of the Master, the wave of the teaching, that had taken over me. Sleep was drifting away, food was dissipating. I had new food, the food of the living word. When I have told some that I used to live with 250 lev a year, my relatives smiled and did not believe much. But it did not matter. The Master knew, and he was my measure, and this measure is pure. So the world and its opinions were of no importance to me. 
For a long time, I had work with the word, around 12 to 16 hours a day, lots of work, work out of love, voluntary work. I remember how I used to sleep on a chair. When I went to sleep at five o'clock so that I was not late for work, then work left altogether so that I could be engulfed completely. I had criticism and attacks from relatives, from the Brotherhood, from the Committee for National Security. All of them I pitied in the same way, because the teaching had engulfed me completely. I remember what the teaching meant to me. It came first, but for outside people it was an extremity. How glad I am that I do not understand them. What did they know of the fire of the new teaching? I did formulas in books for six, eight, ten, eleven hours a day. I had a lot of other work. I was writing whole boxes of notebooks. What I was seeking, I found, and I gave myself to it completely. You, who hindered me in the teaching, you strengthened it so that it became my life. What extremity! I had other such extremities, but I will not talk of them now. The whole criticism of the world and of brothers and sisters is worth nothing compared to a single thought of the Master. As long as the Master approves me, the opinion of the world does not matter to me. Yes, the world has opinions, but not wisdom. Wisdom is within the Master, and he gave me the measure for things. The way in which the Master was leading me was exceptional. Temptations fell away one after the other. Impure foods, impure thoughts, impure feelings, impure desires. Of course, this is an extremity to some. The song of criticism is being sung now with new tones, but it is a tattered rag because when you have been set on fire by the Master, you burn, you live. The deep experiences that the Master gave me while I was living exiled from Varna, in the woods, helped me understand the deep secrets of life, and how formulas work. Now I want to help you as well, but according to your freedom and understanding. And even though I cannot reveal the special formulas of the White Brotherhood, I will reveal clearly enough that which I must reveal, according to the measure. I worked mightily for the Master, and the Master worked mightily for me. He showed me the methods to develop the absolute faith, the unconditional faith. That was the beginning because only faith did not suffice for me. Then came love, then wisdom, then truth, and finally, their union. Then the path of the will turned from strong will to diamond will. For diamond will, there are special practices, which I am saving for those who will be initiated within the second and third part of the pentagram. I remember when I had days with formulas for six, eight, ten, eleven hours a day, and a little more. I had an idea for twenty-four hours, but the Master wanted something else from me, and I had to settle for six hours, so that I can read a lot and work on myself and on studying the secret of temptations, and the snake, and its moves. The Master through formulas and inner regularities was revealing to me. I know how much suffering, heavy agony, and great trials I went through. Yes, suffering was deadly, 
but the master was with me. That made death a pitiful being to me. For it I had developed a special smile. Yes, it cannot take away my smile. Some may think that I am bragging, but I am giving an internal account to myself for everything that I say. Opinions aside, pride aside, those are rags of the Black Brotherhood. In our teaching there are no rags, and from your doubt I shall make myself adornments, because within the fire there is no mind, no moves, no evading, no trickeries. They died. They are in their graves. Are they really in their graves? Truly, evil died. And I will tell you, when evil dies within you, it dies in the surrounding environment as well. For evil to die, it is a very beautiful death. For pride to die, for lies to die. These are all beautiful deaths. Formulas are given to the disciple so that they may serve God with them, not themselves. They are an almighty weapon and special formulas are a method of the absolute world. They are deciding for everything. They are a key of fire but only fire works with fire, and every success is determined by the direction of the fire. The thoughts that you work with determine what will happen in your life. The thoughts you feed is what you should expect. In this account are considered your thoughts from past reincarnations as well. To purify the thoughts means to relieve yourself from the burden of the present and the future, and the past you have to bear, because you have sown it for yourself. Oftentimes people do good and do not receive the same, even sometimes get evil in return, and they, not knowing the laws, think that this is injustice. But this regards the pitiful ignorance, because when you do good, it will bear fruit, not in this life, but in the next. And evil comes from your past, and it does not matter that you do not approve of this, because in this way you do not approve of your past. It is all the same whether you approve of it or not. You have sown it, and it will come, and it will find you. You cannot hide it from karma. There is only one way out, but this is not my task with this book, even though there are formulas which I give, and they regard the destroying of karma. I will only say that purity is an absolute weapon, but it is not an ordinary science. Purity is a magical science. This means being one with the spirit, one with truth. Only the truth can handle both the past and the present, but its methods are only revealed in the occult and divine schools to those who have true striving. When they attain purity, they actually attain the fiery power of the spirit with which the past is intensified, and instead of a thousand years of suffering, all of this happens in one year, in one month, or in even less time. But your qualities, your installation, must be able to endure great tensions and sufferings, a matter of qualities. There are no ties here. Here no one can buy off karma. Here currency does not work. You pay, you die, or you struggle for thousands of years in evolution. Thousands of years struggling in evolution and it is a pity that this is happening to the people who sometimes mock the worm. Yes, the worm has a crawling consciousness. It is a crawling spirit. There are walking spirits. There are flying and wandering spirits. 
but there are great beings who, with their willpower, have created for themselves a fiery body, a fire aura. The eagle can only dream of this height, but this is his future. I would tell you much about the eagle, but let us leave him to fly and enjoy the heights. The flight, given by the teaching of Peter Dunov, Binsa Duno, is exceptional. This is not inspiration for a few thousand years. This is boundless inspiration. But it concerns the initiation within the third degree of the pentagram, which is a great magical process of the spirit. The name, Binsa Duno, is a cipher. It was a cipher back in Egypt when we worked together under the pyramid. The name, Binsa, Duno is one of the names of the Absolute Spirit, but the Master has clothed himself in such humility that who can see him? Only the one who has attained the supreme secret of humility. And it corresponds to one of the great arcans of wisdom. The Master is yet to be understood in the future, even by his close disciples. The Master is known on a higher plane only by the inner circle. The Master is not known by asking questions, as reasonable as they might be. The Master is known in another way, but this path is long. This is the path in which the strong will has been outgrown, and you work in the plane of the diamond will. This is an exceptional world, and then, when you achieve this will, you will become united with the truth, and he will reveal himself to you. And regarding the external name of the Master, Peter Konstantinov Dunov, this is only the preparation. PKD means the path towards the Spirit. This is the path of the beginners. Master has a third name, but it is only given to the inner circle. I will only say that it contains the secret of life. Only purity can be a measure. Only purity is law of absolute love. Only the pure one is given the keys so that they may achieve their goals. All sciences are vain and void compared to purity. Within purity, all evil loses its power because the truth unites with purity. I say, for the true person, bad days never come. Bad conditions are for them a better chance of growing within the spirit. Remember, the word is the secret of every success. The supreme powers that reside within the words organize everything. The pure word is a sum of reasonable occult powers. There are formulas which are nothing more but the mightily working God. There are formulas which are working supreme beings. There are formulas which bring health, but you must live wisely. There are formulas which are a direct entrance into the Supreme Spirit. This happens when the Spirit itself wants to take you into its aura, into its life. The disciple must practice daily inner purity. This is the only way to remove the veil. Formulas are connected to the practical part of occultism and when the disciple has purified themselves and their motives, the spirit descends into the formulas and dynamizes the energy. For example, God, you deal with this evil too. Sometimes the force of vibration works immediately and unconditionally. Evil is helpless against the fiery waves 
against the fiery vibrations of the word. There is a way out, even from the toughest circumstances, and it is determined by purity. Formulas reign only through purity. If, within a teaching, this foundation of purity is lacking, then do not fool yourselves that this is a true way. It may become your way, but it is not the true way. Real occultism is a practice, not thinking and approving of the idea of purity. The spirit lives where there is pure word. This is its home. In this purity the snake is powerless, because the pure word works faultlessly. Whatever danger appears in your life, do not think about it. This is the occult law. Stop thinking about something and it dies. I say, if the connection is broken, the thought is severed. But what is leading is the thought, i.e., when you are thinking about things, you are connecting and binding yourself to them. Stop thinking about worries and worries are made true through reinforcing. The essential in life is before all else the word, the spirit of the word. If you attain the word, all else comes. But you must have a very strong sense of control. You must have a sacred feeling. If you want to know whether a person loves you, you must know that this is the measure if a person is within your thoughts, then you love them. As much as they are within you, this precedes future meetings, future ties, future relations. In order to have the secret of the formulas, you must have the depth of love. If you have this love, everything else will be given to you. It is all in your hands, but this pure love is an above-worldly feat. It is an extraordinary power. I say every formula crystallizes in its idea, in its conception. There are formulas which give the precise and unconditional knowledge. The disciple must work hard to attain this key of life. Formulas are the essence of the occult teaching. The core. This is why the Master begins every important activity with the word, with the beginning. Misfortune, failure, poverty, these are signs of a fall in the thought. Through the purifying of the word, one is born into the spirit. Success is formed within the thought. But the motives must be clear in order for the thought to be able to receive energy from the Spirit. There is a word that is a superb expression of God. This expression is a superb weapon, but this requires a divine way of living. The superb word is a principle of the higher evolution, i.e. the pure occult evolution is expressed in the superb expression of the word. Everything within the universe is a servant to the Word, and if you attain the Word, you enter the most beautiful life, and this is the life of God. Within the Word is concealed the essence of the Spirit, the essence of life. This life is beyond death, beyond suffering, beyond evil, beyond time because life does not succumb to limitations. Life, this is the supreme wealth. This wealth is above all boons. This wealth represents the power of love, i.e. the power of God. The power of life, this is the power of love. This love is given the methods to achieve its goals.
its reasonable goals. The energy of love is God, and this energy is given unconditionally to all beings. Everyone understands its language, its inner speaking. Love is a connection with God internally. This love is transmitted to all distances because it is a process of God. And when the formulas are derived from this divine love, the distance does not matter. Love works faultlessly. The formula is a living, traveling being and, of course, a helping, healing, inspiring, supporting, calming being, because the word is God. For these formulas, the term far away does not exist. Through formulas, we enter the great inner unity, because formulas come from the Spirit itself. Formulas work and penetrate into the other world as well. When a formula is accompanied by a pure motive, then the success is assured because it is connected to God and everything that is connected to God succeeds. Give way to the word within yourself and do not worry. It will arrange everything in the best way. It is the word that arranges things and something more the Word is the true bread. When the Word becomes a home of God, then the true life begins. A new energy instills and creates life in the human being. What will bring you all the favorable conditions of life is control of the Word. The matter here is not only of external favorable conditions, but of internal ones as well, because control gives an abundant energy, an abundant vitality. This pure and plentiful energy is a particular presence of God. Both happiness and misfortune, health and sickness, they are all attracted according to the laws of thought. This is why attentiveness, is required from the disciple of the White Brotherhood. To place your faith in the Word means to place your faith in God. This is why the Word is a great power. To be able to place your faith in something, this is something great. And if you place your faith in the Word, it does not matter what danger you will face, because the Word. This is the spirit within the person, and this spirit of the word frees the person from all limitations. The word is the strong hammer that breaks the rocks. This regards the invisible world, the invisible reality. I say, because the word is life itself, it must flow constantly within us. This is the principle of the constant meditation, when the flow of life has ceased. This means that the word is stale. This way life becomes limited, but true life is limitless. Whoever has attained the word can converse freely with God, as with a close one, because God is the closest being. In order for the word to instill itself firmly within the person, one has to pass through great trials and endure them. Then the word can make a home within them and live inside of them. What will manifest in your life? That in which you always believe, and that in which you always believe excludes doubt. Where there is no doubt, things always come true. To free yourself from doubt means to be liberated from all limitations. 
How often do people say, I believe in nothing? I say, I doubt nothing. Because a great reasonableness governs everything in the world and within the universe. Pray constantly. Life flows unceasingly. The word flows. This flow of the word must flow incessantly, daily. This corresponds to the idea of continuous meditation, the idea of the wellspring. All boons come along the way of the word. Based on this, I say, success is nothing else but concentrated love. If you have perseverance, God is with you. Do not worry. The perseverance within you will clear all internal and external paths. The word is a fiery weapon, a fiery principle, and there is no power in this world against the word. If the word is with you, nothing can hinder you. But for the internal secrets of the word, an initiation from the spirit is needed then the person becomes a conductor of the word and its boons. To attain the primordial word means to attain the image and likeness of God. The way of the word is the way of the disciple, of the inner circle of the white brotherhood, because it is the word that makes us divine beings. The word is a supreme measure. I forewarn, parallel with the work with the formulas and the word purification must flow remember the word is the weapon of purity this weapon requires a great gratitude and imposes a great responsibility the word moves the whole state of being all occurrences and processes are its expression the word is god God resolves the questions of the person through their word. When God instills himself within the word, all magical and wondrous powers are born. This word is called God. It works with the most powerful dynamic. The word is an exceptional instrument of God. And we, with this instrument, can build for ourselves not only health, happiness, success, spiritual growth, but also eternal life. Mortal beings are outside of the word because they have broken its sacred laws. Now, this great word, this magnificent fiery weapon, is achieved only through loyalty. Everything in the universe obeys the laws and principles that come from this sacred beginning. By studying its laws, the Kabbalists study the life of God. Through the Word, we come to know the Master. Through the Word, we come to know life and its secrets. The Word is our way, our support, our revelation. So has the Master taught us. The word moves and works in an absolute way. Through the word we return into the primordial life. Through occult methods of the word you penetrate deeply into the spirit and you comprehend truth. I am speaking of the true sacred connection, not of the illusion. Not long ago, a group of evangelists came to me to tell me of their vision. They were given a vision that we, together with the Master and the White Brotherhood, were not in the right way. Poor them! What visions, what illusions, and what questions to the Spirit! But we will love you along with your illusions, because one day, they will disappear, and then you will be given another vision. There are formulas 
with which every occurrence can be known momentarily, but this formula, which is simultaneously a method, comes from L himself. The true knowing of things comes from the methods, and the most important condition is the connection with God. Then the person has both the method and the measure for things. The method is a key of the Spirit. There are many different methods to interpret the Bible, but the true key is possessed only by the initiates. They have the triple key, with which they capture the truth directly from the Spirit. But this is a secret within the secret, and this secret is not accessible to people of the physical and spiritual plane, but only to people of the divine plane. And when this key is only given to the initiates, then it is in safe hands, i.e. a secure will. The secret of the initiation is such that you have already become one with God and you live within him. So his methods are also your methods. In this way, the Father and the Son commune. Merging is also a method, and through this method you become one being, and then the person becomes silent and knowing, loving and humble, quiet and calm, confident and radiant, and oftentimes inconspicuous. The true method is a mighty key of life, against all difficulties, because this method is God himself. I.e., this method is mighty as God is mighty. Only this method will free you from all difficulties, and will flow into you a new impulse, new spirit, a new point of view, and a new infinite inspiration. This regards the eternal life or the eternal idea of the spirit. The impure one serves evil and therefore receives the horrible blows of fate. Through the formulas, the disciple has access to the divine world. You must know that dangers are never something external. They are bound by the internal, i.e., if danger has crept inside of you, it may come on the outside as well. The primary thing is that it has not crept into your thought. The enemy is dangerous when they have entered inside the fortress. Only the word can help you build a future because the word is superb, as is God himself. And when the word enters into your life, this means that the spirit has descended. Beautiful is life when the ruling beginning is the spirit, this great inner reasonableness. It is very important that you study and understand the power and beauty of silence. Silence is the destroyer of the devil's plans. Formulas are a synthesis of the primordial powers of the spirit, and these things are studied mainly through silence and work. Formulas act especially powerfully within the quiet. Formulas are a primordial weapon, a synthesis, of reasonable divine powers which govern things. Things are being governed first and foremost from the inside. To purify your thoughts means to free yourself from the darkness, to break the chains that bind you. There are formulas that contain within themselves the secret of the descending of the spirit. There are formulas which mean to have the divine power within you. This is what every disciple must attain. Knowing the deep occult wisdom is determined by the closeness to God. 
the universal teaching of the White Brotherhood is entering a new phase, a new dynamic, a new nature of force, which is based on the teaching of the sacred fire given by the Master, Binsa Duno, Peter Dunov, which is actually the fourth fiery impulse of the White Brotherhood one which is connected to the deep secrets of the internal esoteric Christianity. In its beginning, Christianity was a purely occult school. I am talking of the SNs and their secret society in which Christ was accepted. But later, when the occult principles and rules were broken, the supreme wisdom receded, and in this way, Christianity became an external teaching of the Church, which is a pitiful reflection of the great teaching that Christ brought. And whether or not a person has love and wisdom within them, this is known even by some animals. They can also discern, because things are conveyed internally. There are formulas which are a supreme secret of God and are given mouth to ear. The disciple must work hard in order to achieve the living fiery word. The living fiery word melts gold. This word is the essence of liberation because it springs from truth. God is developed within us through the way of the word through the way of control, and when we come to know the Word as God, we will already have an absolute and unconditional faith in Him. It is beautiful when the Word is planning your life, and when the disciple is working consciously with the Word as a principle. The fullest days of my life were when I was doing around 1600 formulas a day. I remember how they helped me and how they filled up my life. I remember how the Master then gave to me new and special formulas with which the cosmos is unlocked. I remember also the conversations I had with many adepts and teachers. Now I am working not only with formulas but with very deep internal occult methods which the Master gives me and which I want to give to the worthy ones. And there already are such people. They have already understood something from the deep secrets of the teaching of the Master. The disciple must know that the fire of the Word consists of the fire of love, and this is the Spirit of God. There are methods through which only the Absolute Voice is heard and no other. Pure and mysterious is this voice. It is beautiful when you know it. It is beautiful when this voice is your measure in life. It is beautiful even when others doubt you, and you know the secret and live within this deep world, which is a world with no doubt. The doubt of others does not hinder me, because to me doubt is impossible. He removed all doubt from me forever. I have been working together with the Master from back in Egypt. The memory of the secret work beneath the pyramid is alive to us still. Now he is giving me new revelations, new tasks, new methods. There is no life more beautiful than this one, to live together with the Master and to work for the new race and it is already developing, quiet and unnoticed. It is beautiful when the quiet voice is on your side. The connection to this voice is sacred. You have to walk an exceptional path in order to be able to distinguish it from all other voices. The connection with this voice is a connection with the deepest life within the universe and outside of it. It is beautiful when this voice is your guide, then you really live. The right way 
This is a contact with the quiet voice, the quiet depth of life. Remember, the acting word is God, the creator. This word is living. It is working and creating the new life and the new race. This word is his voice. Everything obeys this voice, this secret. Within this voice, the most supreme magical powers are included. It is enough to hear but a word of this voice in order to turn into light. The voice is not something ordinary. The true voice is composed of living elements, of living qualities, and this is a supreme act of God within us, a supreme internal activity because the true voice is made out of the pentagram. Within this voice, there is supreme music, music which is the formula of life. From the formulas a pure power emanates, which travels and governs everything. They give way to the supreme powers to work, because it is said in the Kabbalah that every letter of the alphabet is a living angel and an attribute of God. This is why thoughts and feelings are living beings. Without the sacred fire, there is no dynamic to the formulas, and the dynamic is based on purity. This is why in the wellspring there is no energy crisis. The crisis is in the swamp. In the stale life, in the old outlooks and prejudices, love carries within itself the highest dynamic, this is why the Master talks of love and its fire. This fire is sacred. The Creator made this fire for the resolution of all questions. This fire is alive and creative. To attain love means to attain this weapon, which is the fire itself. This, in occult language, means to have the spirit within yourself. Remember, the Word is a way in which God descends and works for our salvation. The weapon of love is the weapon of the kingdom of God, because love and God are inseparable. This weapon is the quality of the mighty love. This weapon is created by the sacred connection with God. This weapon is a method of the White Brotherhood. This weapon is a mighty alchemy. This fire has an all-encompassing sight. Only the will can attain this exceptional weapon, this fire. This is the will which is in agreement with God. This love is a divine nature. It is the whole of vitality. It is the eternal boon of the person. It is the center of life. Towards this center, everyone aims, and without this love, your words do not matter. They are lifeless. They are corpses of words, and the way of the disciple is the living word. The living fire, the water of life. I say, the safest place is the fiery dynamic. Fire. This is the divine science. This is the divine wisdom. This is the occult science. It starts with fire and ends with fire. This fire will unfold eternally and its beauty is without end. Om, boundless inspiration.